This is Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, with an amazing training session for you with Stan the Rhino efforting a world record holder in a 275-pound weight class and Dan Goldilocks Green, a world record holder in a 220-pound weight class. Look at the Rhino, solid as a brick right here. You can see his abs right through his T-shirt, which I don't think I've ever noticed that on another human being before, especially through a normal T-shirt. It's not like he's wearing some weird underarm or spandexy thing. Look at the speed at which he hits 605. Looks like a toy to these guys. <clears throat> you really want to observe the form. Stan is always, always does a good job of keeping his head neutral. He does a good job of getting an arch through his lower back and keeping his spine neutral throughout. Here's Dan, who just hopped out of the car on his way uh, from San Jose. Dan owns a gym called Boss Barbell. So if you're ever in the San Jose area, make sure you look that up. And make sure you go lift like a boss. Also with this video, we're releasing a uh, code for... Um, the howmuchyoubench.net website. I want to thank all the fans out there for watching. And as a reward, you get $10 off the slingshot. Uh, that offer is going to last for about a week or so, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but you want to get on that, howmuchyoubench.net. Type in uh, the coupon code is STAN1. Here's STAN. You can see my boy Creed in the background right there. Deemed as the fourth uh, greatest back spotter and loader of all time. This is a 705 pound squat by Stan Efferding. Look at the speed at which he nails that squat. Creed uh, is behind Amadeo Novella. He's also behind Taco Truck. He's also behind Nico Hoslander, who could perhaps be uh, the greatest spotter loader in the history of powerlifting. Nico, if you're out there, you're my boy. Here goes Stan with 705 again. We've got a different angle here. We've got a side angle here. Really important to really check and watch and uh, pay attention to the form that these guys use. We, we are all different. We're all different lifters. Um, not all of you are going to be able to do the things that Stan or Dan can do. But it's still important to note uh, some similarities between the two lifters. Um... Both guys are packed with a ton of muscle. Dan Green is jacked. The guy's got a back on him like, I mean, he looks like a bodybuilder himself. Stan, who's a pro bodybuilder, has uh, actually mentioned that he thinks Dan could step on a stage and win some uh, local shows with some ease. Here's uh, Stan going with an 805. But both these guys have huge upper backs, and they rest that barbell real low. They have the barbell really low. And they got that barbell rest, resting on the rear delts. Easy squat. Blast that up. 805. Didn't really look like a whole lot to me. Gets the stomach tight. Arches up a little bit. Forces the knees out. Allows the knee to travel forward a little bit, which is important, especially for a raw squatter. Keep in mind, Dan Green just competed and just pulled an, a successful 821 deadlift, I believe. I hope I get, I get his number right. About a week prior to this. There he is, busting out 705. Got the side angle there. These, uh, some of these photos you're going to see throughout this video are, are brought to you by Sam McDonald, Jim McDee's uh, son. And uh, he, did a, he did a wonderful job on this day. Both these guys got a lot of great coverage for us here at supertraining.tv. And this is the big one, folks. This guy is just an absolute beast. Uh, watch, watch and observe the craziness of this 905 squat. Takes a long time for him to get down in the hole. Seven seconds, I counted. And he doesn't really falter at all. There's really not, you know, not, there's nothing wrong with that form. Um, he got a little off balance at the top. He a little shaky, but shit, what's the Rhino to do? It's 905, right? It's a big weight. And you can see the speed and the amount of force and oomph he puts into it. This is Stan's own camera. Stan wanted to have about five or six cameras on him. Look at that. 
Clearly a good squat in just about any federation that there is. Keep in mind, a wide stance squat is going to look a lot different than a close stance squat. You can see the shaking. Jim did a great job capturing some of the shaking going on there. I'm going to have to tell my boy Stanley that uh, maybe his feet are ducked out just a little bit too much. When you get under those big, big, big weights like that, uh, you want to have a little bit more of an angle like... Uh, Dan has here. This is 755. Check out Dan's face on this one. I love it. Whoa. He's about ready to puke. Dan likes to kind of get a forward knee position going. He's a big proponent of the, of the front squat. And a lot of these back squats look like front squats when Dan Green does them. See that forward knee positioning? He likes to really push into his knee wrap. And if you see where his knee wrap is closed off, it's, it's right at that point where he's uh, pushing real hard forward into it. There you see the long flowing locks. This, this guy is just an absolute animal. Um, he was telling me that he, he does uh, front squatting two or three times a week. He does about three different types of deadlifts when he does a deadlift workout. He does a lot of rowing. He does like just basically a lot of everything. I don't know how long a training session takes. But here's 800 pounds. This is a 40 pound PR for Dan. And whammo. Stalled through the middle there. But again, that's a 40 pound PR. You're only going to see this kind of stuff happen at Super Training Gym. The magic of Super Training Gym. The magic of getting guys around you that... Uh, that aren't afraid to see big weights, guys that know what, it, what big weights look like. And we're able to help these guys out, spot them, load the weights up, and just let them concentrate on, on the weight itself. A couple different angles of the 805. Here you get to see another front view. Nice freeze frame for all the haters out there. But I don't believe this has ever happened in any other gym in the history of powerlifting an 800 pound squat and a 905 squat, and that is it from supertraining.tv.